I once had a dream that I had dozens of extra fingers. They grew out of my normal fingers and then out of my hands and forearms. Some were long, others were short, you know, some had a bunch of extra joints and knuckles. Some didn't have any joints at all. They were all vestigial too, and I quickly lost my ability to grab things. There was no way I could use them all, and eventually I just grew into a giant tree made entirely out of fingers. Anyway, this is Incredipede, brought to us by Northway Games. You play as Quozel, the Incredipede, whose sisters have all been captured by a tribe from a faraway land, presumably because they're so incredible. And it's up to you alone to travel the harsh and unforgiving wilderness to rescue them. And harsh it is, considering that it's made entirely of floating platforms and loose physics objects. The core mechanics of the game lie in the Incredipede herself. Quozel possesses a unique ability to grow limbs and muscles at will, and can reconfigure her body to suit almost any situation. The primary advantage, or probably flaw depending on how you look at it, is not that she's so adaptable, but that you're the one designing her. Quozel can be anything from a single moving limb to a 20-legged super spider, all depending on your ability to make your design functional. Personally, I found myself going for simpler designs. As long as it moved, it worked for me, but the more mechanically minded of you will no doubt find a myriad of ways to make Quozel move around. The game boasts that you can look to real animals in nature for design ideas, explaining that Quozel can become, quote, a snake, a spider, a horse, a monkey, anything you can imagine, but I'm a little skeptical of that. Each one of Quozel's many aberrant limbs has to originate from her eye, so the only one of those animals I can agree with is Spider, since it's the one she most closely resembles. You can kind of get a snake thing going, but a better description would be Worm, since she sort of slinks rather than slithers. And you're not going to bother to make anything so complicated as a horse or a monkey, seriously. Quozel is ultimately better described as a machine rather than an animal. And while an animal's body does function mechanically, it's not going to travel the land better than something a human can design. Design. Once you remember that one of humanity's greatest achievements, the wheel, is thousands and thousands of times better at moving something across the ground than any leg found in nature, you quickly realize there's no point to giving her legs at all, just make her a car and cruise on to victory. I feel like the game is somewhat defeated by its own ingenuity. It's easy with these kinds of games to fall into a rhythm once you've figured out something that works. In fairness, the game does make quite the effort to include a variety of levels and objectives in order to prevent you from slumping into a routine but I find these amount a little more than figuring out the best way to fall over, spiced up by the occasional having to latch onto floating platforms. Every once in a while there will be a level usually involving water that requires you to think up something super specific, but I don't think that there are enough of those. A more notable way the game challenges you to not repeat designs is to have collectibles that you have to collect. To keep you from just rolling on into the end, you're required to accumulate a certain amount of them in order to proceed to the next series of stages. I would find this to be quite the challenge, but as far as I played, I could just go for the really easy ones and still have enough to move on. There are two levels of difficulty, which aren't difficulties so much as modes of play. Normal mode is a whole series of stages in which you have to pilot a pre-built Quozel around a specifically designed stage. And hard mode is a whole other series of levels where you're expected to build your own design, which I kind of think would have been the whole point of the entire game. There's also a sandbox mode, so you can just mess around if you felt so inclined. Uh, you can also share your designs on Facebook and Twitter, as the game prompts you at the end of every level to post your success and or failure for all to see. Okay, let's see what else. The art's really good. The vibrant colors and cyclopean design give off a distinctly familiar yet alien feeling, which is further built upon by the really good music. Uh, Quozel is an interesting idea for a character, and the strange world is both hostile and inviting. I do have two complaints that, while I feel are both minor, at least in my opinion, could use some addressing. Firstly, why isn't there any controller support? You only need two buttons to control the character, and the building aspect of Quozel could have been done just as well with joysticks as it was with a mouse, so what the hell. Also, and this seems to be the worst of the two issues, you can apparently just tell the game you got all the achievements, and then the game believes you and gives you all the achievements. I'm not sure how you do this, but it was the primary thing people complained about on the Steam reviews. Personally, I don't care about achievements, so that means nothing to me, but it probably should be fixed. Also, can you not help yourself but to cheat all the achievements in for the game that you bought to play? I don't know. Seems, seems like something fishy to me, but it's all immaterial as far as I'm concerned. If you have a mechanical inclination and a good imagination, you will probably find Incredipede incredible, or at the very least worth looking into. It seems like a game you could spend hours in thinking up new designs and ways to move. 
I know I only have the patience to do the same thing so many times, and if I do have to do something ad nauseum in order to get somewhere in a game, I quickly fall into a process, and I have a hard time breaking out of it, and then it kind of feels like every other thing the game gives me to play around with just feels like extra baggage I'm not going to use because it's not the most efficient thing. But that's just me. Well, that's it for me today. Next time on Robert's Game Corner, we'll recall other weird dreams that I've had. Bye, everybody. See you next time.